Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so uh, this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and as well Scorpio Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week and just give me a second to shuffle the tarot cards and let's see what, uh, what kind of a thing uh, we have to experience throughout the upcoming week. I really are crossing fingers for that one. The last week was atrocious. It was really bad, at least for me, guys. I don't know about you, but for me, it was one of the worst weeks I ever had in my life. So first one we got, uh, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, uh, we have the Five of Swords, followed by uh, the Two of Pentacles. And the last one, uh, we have the Three of Swords. I'm uh, just going to need a... I'm just going to need a minute here. All right, so what we have is a, I don't know where even to begin with. So this, uh, this is what uh, the week relates to. It relates to our concepts in a sense of that what kind of a thing we do want in our future. Uh, let me just show you the cards one more the cards one more time so we do have the three of pentacles the uh, five of swords the two of pentacles and the three of swords so it uh, refers to the concepts we do have for the future we want to we want to have for ourselves and uh, those concepts are to be challenged from those that are supporting us okay um, they could be challenged from our family uh, or from our beloved ones our partners in business or co-workers it doesn't really matter uh, it's pretty much these people they will try to point that there are better things or that there there is a better goal that we can go for we can be better at something else we can be better with something else, with somebody else or with something else um, so the whole week is going to be a battle in between our personal ego and the common sense that comes from those that are supporting us. Because there is no doubt, the very least with this reading, uh, that we are going to have a, an unconditional support regarding our development, regardless if that development is going to be in terms of relationships or in terms of career, from those that are around you, for those that are holding us there to, to their heart. And they will also want to help us uh, physically, regardless of what kind of a thing you are facing. For example, if you are struggling with money, they may try to give you a loan or just give you straight, straight up a money. If you are struggling with time management, they may offer to kind of undertake some of your responsibilities on their behalf and etc. etc. And it, this is where the pride really comes in. This is where we can stood firm and, pride and proud and say, you know, now we, we just don't need your help. 
help, okay? We have it, we have it covered. But we need to know that nobody, nobody, I'm sorry, nobody does it by themselves. Everybody who is successful, everybody who is happy, everybody who, who kind of have their life sorted is because of the they know how to, not to use, but to utilize a support and how to utilize a cumulative effort. And that is exactly what we need to do for throughout the week. But there is one problem. And that is the problem of the five of uh, swords sitting into the second position. And that card, uh, it shows that as, as much as there are people who are honest, sincere and devoted to our progress, just as much there are people who are pretending to be that way. And with the five of swords into the second position, there is a, a quite sort of a big danger, danger for us to place our hopes into somebody that does not deserve our hopes. And what that is going to lead to, it's a huge disappointment. That is the, the least of our worries because with the, disappointment, with the disappointment comes a big humiliation. Okay. So that being said, before we, we, we need to place our hopes only into those that have already proven to be trustworthy and as well devoted to our progress, devoted to our um, happiness and as well a right of, succeed, uh, of succession, I don't know how to say it, the right to be uh, successful, okay? So the good thing about the week here, which uh, appears to be in the third position, that it is of the two of pentacles, it speaks that um, there are there is more than one way how we can do things around okay so that being said that when we are stubborn and proud about our own understanding and uh, and, and how can i say uh, anticipation let's say it that way our own understanding and anticipation for what we need to do and how we must do it and etc etc there are some concepts that we are relying on that are pretty much outdated concepts and those outdated con concepts are to be picked up from um, from those that are supporting us. And that being said, we are to see reason behind it. And like said in the start of the reading, only the pride, it will be, uh, it will be a thing that can make us fail throughout the week itself. As we do see that our personal concepts that we have uh, um, Im implied on our behavior are pretty much outdated. We have to let them go and adopt the new concepts which are pointed by those that are supporting us. So it's, it all comes to that, that this, this week our um, being is to be challenged and is to be cancelled and we have to listen to this cancel. And at the end, with the Tree of Swords, uh, this is a very uh, broad card in that particular uh, in that particular follow up. For the most people that are Scorpio, the Tree of Swords will come to the realization of that. Why would I? Um, not the realization, but it's kind of like the the standpoint where one asks themselves, "Why have I not done this thing earlier?" Okay, and it's kind of like a disappointment of oneself that they haven't figured it out earlier, that they have been stubborn, and that they have been so, how can I say, so uh, unyielding about, you know, their ways, while their ways were a, uh, outdated. The other way of manifestation of the, tree of, uh, of the Tree of Swords refers to those that are to abuse your trust if you for some reason place your trust into those that um, into those that does not deserve your trust after the humiliation you are going to be yes you know severely hurt but as well you are going to realize that these people does not have a place in your life anymore and this is how the tree of swords uh, manifests there as a healing that you are pretty much going to sever ties with those people and you are never going to think of them for the rest of your life moving forward into the future so it's kind of like putting that uh, situation behind your back never thinking of it 
whatsoever. And the last thing about the Three of Swords that may manifest, it is where you realize that you are on the back track. It is like, you know, yes, you adopt the new concepts about your career, about your relationship, about your life in general, through the help of counseling of those that are there to your heart, that you are there to their heart as well, uh, through meaningful conversations. And now you do understand that it is almost way too late and you have to make a double time. So it's kind of like more, um, working to save your relationship or to improve your career or to improve your life in general, uh, which are back against the wall. And the Three of Swords is actually a very good card in this particular case because it's exception, it performs exceptionally well. One performs exceptionally well when they work with their back against the wall at the end of the deck. Uh, so that being said, Scorpio, this was our a weekly tarot reading uh, for the upcoming week. Hopefully, guys, you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.